What up, beautiful people? It's your boy Mundus. Welcome to the Shiny Life Family, a place where you're going to learn God's word, it's going to build your faith strong and transform your life. I'm back again with another beautiful daily devotional from Rhapsody of Realities by Pastor Chris. And today we're going to review one of the articles from the devotional, like we usually do. We're going to do a Bible study, we're going to learn God's word and build our faith. And today's title, we're talking about absolute rest in Christ. Um, theme scripture is ta- our theme scripture is taken from Hebrews chapter nine and verse Hebrews chapter four verse nine to eleven. I'll read on. It says, "There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God, for he that is entered into his rest has also ceased from his own works, as God did cease from his. Let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, lest that any man shall fall after the same example of unbelief." Uh, so reading on the first paragraph, Pastor Chris says, The life that Christ has given you is one of absolute rest and peace. It makes no difference how dire things get or the challenges you face. Your victory is guaranteed. You and Christ are one. And because you're in union with him, you can never be disadvantaged. You are triumphant always and in every place and you're unshakable. Dear Lord, that's amazing. You know, talking about rest, absolute rest. Rest means seizing from your labor, seizing from your struggle. The struggle is over. I mean, Christ, he paid the ultimate price. He said there, there, there remains a rest. You know, the, this scripture is talking about the children of Israel. They didn't enter into God's rest because of unbelief. They didn't believe God. Despite the miracles they saw, despite the same Moses part the Red Sea, they were always rebellious. And even and and God turned to be against them because they say they vexed His Holy Spirit. That's what the Scripture said. And then He said they didn't enter into His rest. In, in, in fact, you, 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 if you read um, if you read um, Numbers, Deuteronomy, you find out that the, the generation that went into the Promised Land was not the generation that came from from Egypt. It was a new generation that was born in the desert. That's the one that went to the promised land and Joshua and Caleb. But the rest of the other generation that came from Egypt, that was always grumbling, that was always murmuring, that was always full of unbelief, they perished and died in the desert. So they didn't enter into God's rest where the land flows with milk and honey. No, they were always arguing with God. They were always, um, they were always unbelieving. You know, they didn't want to, uh, uh, they didn't walk in faith. They didn't trust God. And that's what it is to walk in rest because you trust God. You know, hey, he said we're going to go in a land that flows with milk and honey. I trust you, Lord. Despite what it looks like, I trust you. So I see it so I refuse to be worried or be concerned because, hey, I'm more than a conqueror. Despite what it is, I am more than a conqueror. So I've entered into your rest where I've seized from my struggles. And this is important. Uh, let me read on the second paragraph. Pastor Chris says, An old songwriter said, He never said you only see sunshine. He never said there will be no rain. But he surely promised us a heart full of singing. In other words, come what may, you are victor. Some people aren't sure what life has in store for them. They live with uncertainty. But in Christ is assurance. Christ in you, the hope of glory. That's Colossians chapter 1 verse 26. The hope of a glorious life. The hope of a victorious life. Christ in me. That's why it says, Pastor says, if you're in union with Christ, you cannot be disadvantaged. Christ lives in you, so how can you fail? Christ in you is, is your hope for a triumphant life. It's a guarantee. It's an assurance you'll win always. Because it says, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. He says, you have overcome them because you are of God, little children. He said, you are of God, little children. And you have overcome them. And he says, why did you overcome them? Because the greater one lives in you. There's an advantage. We have an advantage because the greater one lives in us. We're not our, by ourselves. We're not alone. We are in union with God. We are in union with Christ. Joint together. The Spirit of God lives in us. So despite of what it is, He's there with us. He says, you go through the storm, you go through the waters, you go through the fire, it won't burn you. You go through the waves, you won't drown. Because He's there with you. He's not there with you to spectate. No, He's there with you to protect you, to lift you, to move you forward. He is the fourth man. I just remember this scripture. The fourth man. Ah, That's not the topic, but... 
remember the uh, the story of um Shadrach, Meshach, and and the Bendigo when they were thrown into the fiery furnace. And despite of that furnace, uh, the people that threw them in that furnace, they got burnt up because the fire was so strong. And they were in that furnace, and the and, and the king saw them walking in that furnace that was quenching hot, and he couldn't believe it. And he said, "We threw three men there. How come I see another man?" He says, "Like I see fourth man, and the fourth one looks like the son. It looks like God." So that means wherever the spirit is, you're protected. You cannot be in a furnace and the spirit is there with you and you get shingled and burnt. So the presence of God in your life is not for nothing. The Holy Ghost didn't come to be in you just for the sake of being you. And then watch you go through problems and he just be like, yeah, I'm not going to do anything. No, he's there to, to make you win always, to make you triumphant always. No matter what, you're more than a conqueror. That's what it means to enter into God's rest. He says, absolute rest in Christ. Because you are assured the greater one lives in me. I will win always. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm going to win. At the end of this, I'm going to be on top. Uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 35 to 37 says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril? Or this or sword as it is as it is written for thy sake we are all we are killed all day long we are counted as sheep for the slaughter nay in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us refuse to be stressed over anything because you're in God's rest and I've seized from life's struggles the Bible says he that has entered into his rest has seized from his own works as God did from his so there's no, we are not struggling. We're not struggling to get anything. That shows you something. We're not struggling to get our healing. We're not struggling to be rich. We're not struggling to get anything. When God said it is finished, it is finished from the foundation of the universe. He's not trying to create anything new. And He said we have entered that rest. So everything that will ever require for life, everything that we need in our in, for our life, for our future, for our family, is been done. It is finished. Jesus was on the cross. Said it is finished, and it was finished indeed. We have seized from all our struggles. Let me show you a scripture. It's a funny scripture. Let me show you a beautiful scripture. Let's go to um, Proverbs. I was reading it. Proverbs 23. Let me look at the King James Version. King James. King James. Proverbs 23 and verse 4. It says, Labor not to be rich. Seize from thy own wisdom. Will thou set thy eyes upon which is not for riches? Suddenly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. That's not even the point. He says, labor not to be rich. Seize from your own wisdom. Refuse to struggle for prosperity because he has made you rich already. He says, we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Though he was rich, but yet for our sake he became poor. That through his poverty we might be rich. So we are rich. So don't struggle to get what you are. Don't struggle to be what you are. Accept who you are and walk in the light of your prosperity. Walk. Walk. As a prosperous man, don't walk as someone that's not prosperous, that's trying to be prosperous. You're already prosperous, despite of what you have in your bank account. You are prosperous now. You're not going to be prosperous when you get those 10 businesses. You're not going to be prosperous when you get that ex exclusive job. You're not going to be prosperous when you have a million pounds, in a, a million dollars, a million pounds in your bank account. You are prosperous the minute you're born again. It doesn't matter. Despite the money being there, on, you're on a, an heir of God. That's why he says, seize from your labor, seize from your struggles, from your own wisdom, because you're rich. All right, uh, let's just take this, let's just, uh, let me finish the rest. He says, don't allow anyone or circumstances cheat you out of the life of absolute rest in Christ that, you've been, that you're called to live, a life of peace with prosperity. And remember, the way to sustain yourself in this glorious life is living by faith in the word. Applying the word in all that you do. Hallelujah forevermore. I want to take this prayer together. Repeat this after me. Um, say it out loud. Dear Father, I thank you for your immeasurable love for me. You finished the works from the foundation of the world and called me into your rest. I mean your rest now. Living in the peace of prosperity. I refuse to struggle or fret over anything as I enjoy my triumphant life in Christ. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. 
You can refer the studies in Hebrews chapter 4 verse, verse, verse 3, Colossians chapter 1, 26, 27, and it's a one-year Bible plan and a two-year Bible plan. You can pick whichever one you, you want to follow. I hope you've been blessed by today's devotional. Thank you once again for watching, for subscribing. I want to, I want to, if you're not born again, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to give you a chance to receive salvation for your soul right now. I want to lead you into a prayer of salvation. So I want to say, I want you to say this prayer after me and mean it with all your heart. Just repeat this after me. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah forevermore. If you say that prayer, congratulations, you're born again. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can um, be notified when I post a video. I post a video every single day that will help build your faith and that will just transform your life. So, Welcome to the Shining Life family. You know, this is a family of light, a family of love, and we're going to make progress together in the things of God. You know, you're going to watch your life so transform, so improve, so move forward. So thank you once again for watching, for subscribing. If you have not subscribed and you watch my videos, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification button so you can receive videos every day. You know, I pray for all my subscribers. So you want to be part of the family. I mean, I appreciate you watching, but you want to be part of the family. Subscribe. To join the Shining Life family so you can receive all these prayers, all these blessings that take place in this channel. And before I go, I want to pray for everyone that's watching. I want to pray that God's hand of blessing will be upon you strong. That says the Spirit of God, He has put an open door before you that no man can shut. An open door that you can go through. Oh, blessings upon blessing. What was impossible before you can do now, says the Spirit of God. And no one will hinder you and no one will stop you because I put that door before you and no one can shut it and no one can stop you. You are advancing forward. You are moving forward. You are moving forward. You are making progress, says the Spirit of God. This is your moment now. This is your moment. Walk in this. Walk through, says the Spirit of God, because that door is before you. Walk through, says the Spirit of God. Glory be to God forevermore. Congratulations. In the name of Jesus. It's been your boy Mundus. Be victorious and prosperous in all you do. God bless you.